Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Queen Sugar. So today I have a really quick mini um, six month update love life pick up our reading. And so I want those to know that time is an illusion. So even though I say six months, it could happen before six months. It can happen a little bit after six months. So use the timing of this as just like a little, a little nugget. You know, don't take it super seriously where you're like pressuring yourself to fulfill something in six months. OK, so I would like everyone to cleanse their energy, cleanse their mind and just focus on your breathing and allow yourself to gravitate towards the door that best captures your attention at this time. Our first door is the black door. Our second door is the red door. And our third door is the glass door. Once you have decided which door you would like to connect with, feel free to click the timestamp below and check out your portion of the video. Now remember these readings are very short. They're very quick, straight to the point. So take whatever resonates and just listen to the messages that are there okay thank you so much for your love and support enjoy all right this will be for those that selected the black door so let's see what your love life is going to look like in the next six months so we have true love this is a romance of a lifetime healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens And loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. And your tarot cards are the Knight of Wands, Strength, the Fool, the Page of Swords, or the Knave of Swords. The Will of Fortune, the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles, and finally, Two of Cups. All right. So what I'm getting for you in the next six months in regards to your love life is that there, one, the thing will be healing. So working on your relationship with your parents, with your family, is going to be something that you're really focused on and like they say as you you heal and you clear those inner child wounds and you forgive and you work in relationships with your family and your friends that also opens your heart to receive love from others in a romantic way i get that as you do that work as you do that healing you meet this person, your true love, um, you invite that in is what I'm getting. I get that this person has been wanting to come in for for a while now. And they're ready for this new beginning with you. And it's definitely time. It seems like the time has come for you two to really meet and to really evolve in a relationship together. I get that as you meet this person and as you get to know them, you're gonna build that loyalty and that trust with each other, which allows you to understand that this is a true love and that this is something that this person wants and that they're devoted to you and they wanna be very consistent. The Seven of Pentacles talks about investing. So like this person wants to invest in a connection with you as you are gonna invest with them. And the Two of Cups, this is like a soulmate. So this is a true love, this is a soulmate. So this is someone that potentially will be your happily ever after with the sun being the one of the cards here which is like the happiest card in a tarot deck i also get that with the page of swords here in this deck it's called the slave of love this person is literally wanting to be there for you and be that that partner for you so i get that in the next six months um you're working on yourself, you're healing your relationships with family and friends, and then also you're calling in and bringing in that that love and welcoming it in because now it is a good time for you to experience.
experience love and a healthy, true love, a romantic love. And it definitely seems like it's going to be very successful. Um, I'm getting that because you're doing this work, you're healing and you're evolving. You are closing karmic cycles. You are ending generational curses, especially when it comes to like love. Um, I get that maybe the people of your family haven't had like healthy relationships before. And so you're going to be the first person to truly have a healthy relationship and be like that new beginning for your family and starting a cycle that is a healthy cycle is what I'm getting. Okay. So the next six months, true love is coming your way. So get excited, um, be open to it and receptive to it. All right. So I hope this resonated with those that selected this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thumbs up this video and check out other videos on my channel. I appreciate your love and support. Peace, love, and abundance. This will be for those that selected the red door. So let's see what your love life is going to look like in the next six months. So we have very soon clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Beautiful. And your tarot cards are temperance. Wow. Ooh, the sun. You got some really good cards here. The emperor. The magician. The moon. The magician again. I'll put that next to that magician. The empress. Ooh, okay. I'll put that next to the emperor. And then your last tarot card is the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful cards here. So what I am getting for you in the next six months, it definitely seems like this pile, um, a lot of you will come into union with your divine counterpart. And if you haven't met this person yet, you're going to meet your divine counterpart very soon. So within the next six months. And the reason why I say that is because we have temperance, which is which is a card to me that connects to like union and balance of divine counterparts, um, true love. And what I get with the sun being the happiest card here, once again, symbolizing that union, that like final, that final joy. You finally have that person here, you know, and then we have the empress and the emperor. We have the moon and then we have the sun. The sun is connected to divine masculine energy. The moon is divine feminine energy. And then we have the magician twice. So I get that um, you and this person are definitely creators. You're manifestors. And so you two have manifested each other into the physical. And now you two are able to connect and be together and give this relationship a chance. That's what I'm getting. This is a partnership that you have been praying for and hoping for for a very long time. I get this for this other person as well. And with the action card being here, this is saying that action is finally going to take place. That balance that you've been hoping for, that consistency, the partnership, the love, all of that is here to happen. I get that it is really important for you to continue to ground yourself and to continue to balance your energies because what you're doing is um, continuing that success of knowing who you are and allowing that to ground you and keep you going, keeping you uh, motivated in love and just to, you know, fulfill your life purpose. I get that this um, this love that is coming in in your life is a very healthy love and it was worth the wait is what I'm getting. They're channeling. It's worth the wait. So don't feel bad if you have to wait for years for this to happen. It is worth the wait. It is a healthy love. So the person that is coming in is a healthy person. They're a person of high vibrational energy. So if you're thinking of someone that doesn't seem like they are that person, then it's not them. It's someone of quality. And that's what you want to manifest. Okay. So continue to be the empress that you are, continue to be the emperor that you are and welcome in this love and give it a chance and just continue to open your heart and be receptive of love. Don't let fear run it away. Don't let fear intimidate you. Just really enjoy this moment and be excited to welcome in this love because this is your year for love. Okay.
So I hope this resonated with those that selected this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment below, thumbs up the video, and check out other videos on my channel and subscribe. I love you all. Thank you so much. Peace, love, and abundance. Alrighty, so this will be for those that selected the glass door. Let's see what your love life is going to look like in the next six months. So we have wedding. The situation involves a marriage. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. And let's get into your tarot cards. We have the Ace of Swords. The Tower. The King of Swords. The King of Cups. Okay. Justice, King of Pentacles, got three kings here, the Ten of Swords, and finally, the Devil, very interesting, okay, so this pile might take a couple more minutes longer than the other ones, because I'm actually getting like a mixture of three different energies here. So let me go through each one of them and, you know, pick the one that resonates with you and your situation or whatever you feel comfortable connecting with. So the first energy that I'm getting is that some of you that have been in third party situations, it seems like that person is either going to get a divorce or break up with the person that they're with currently. And I'm getting that um, when they do that, it allows you two to kind of reconnect and see if you want to work things out if you want to date each other is what i'm getting um, that's like for whoever is in a third party situation and have been wondering if that will end will things move forward between you and this person so i get that there's going to be an ending in their situation and then that's going to allow you two to kind of like figure out what do you want to do once that happens the second energy that i'm getting is that some of you will be meeting the person that you will marry, you know, because this this could be the one. And I'm getting that this person that you're going to meet, you are going to psych yourself out about it a little bit before you meet them. And this is why they're saying let go of control issues and let things unfold naturally. So, you know, even though this reading says like within the next six months, don't pressure yourself to have to meet this person in six months. Because it can happen next month. It can happen in seven months. So it's all about just being present and enjoying your life. And just really being excited to meet the person. And not really putting a time stamp on it. I only said six months because I wanted to. Um, I didn't want to like say like a big year or like five years. Like I want to say six months because that's a good like checkpoint for some people. And so I get that. For some of you, you will meet the person that you will marry in six months. Um, and that can just start off with the, the dating process of your relationship. And then you build and you grow and you manifest that marriage together. And the third energy that I'm getting is that some of you are going to have a lot of suitors come your way trying to pursue you. Now, here's the thing about that. You're going to have three people because we have air, we have earth, and then we have water. They don't necessarily have to be in the in each of those categories, but there's three different types of kings here. What am I what am I getting is that at least two of the people that are going to try to pursue you are not going to be healthy decisions. They're going to be toxic, and I get that because of the devil. I get that because of the ten of swords, and I get that because of the tower. And so it is important that you use your discernment that you are in a balanced state to know which person is the best person for you and i get that this is a test from the universe to make sure that you have learned the lessons that you have truly ended the karmic cycles and have truly um 
embrace the energy of welcoming in positive cycles is what I'm getting. So make sure that you use your discernment and you really like go with your intuition and you just trust your gut when it comes to these people that are going to come into your life. Now, some of these people can be people you already know. They could be like an ex or they could be like an old fling that pops up out the blue like, hey, let's reconnect. And if you know that's not where you want to be, then don't choose that. That's what I'm getting. Going back to the first energy that I mentioned with like the third party, them getting a divorce or breaking up with that person. I'm getting that a lot of um, that comes from there was an imbalance in that connection in that relationship. And so now when they divorce or break up with that person, it's going to bring um, this this balance to your connection as well. And so that's when you kind of decide, like if you even want to be with this person or even figure it out I get that this is going to cause a lot of mental clarity for you and so sometimes you might think like oh I really wanted this person wanted this person and then they get a divorce and they come out there you're like hey let's let's try to figure this out I'm officially single blah 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 and you're like actually I don't think I want to be with you anymore and that's okay it's also okay to pursue something with them you know once they're single and you want to see where things go you know and then you can figure it out from there I get that overall um, for the second um, pile or the second energy that I was feeling, this person that's going to come your way, that's your, that's your spouse, they're going to be someone that's stable, a very good communicator and emotionally balanced, which is great. And so I get that if you want that energy, you want that type of person, then really call that in and be about that energy yourself as well, you know? Because if you want consistency, we have to be consistent with ourselves. If you want to receive love, we have to love ourselves and we have to give it in order to receive it, right? So it's really important to be present in the moment and to really appreciate what you have in this moment, okay? So I hope this was helpful for those that selected the glass door. Um, feel free to pick the energy that connected with you the most. Um, I appreciate everyone supporting the video, watching the videos on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you all the best. Peace and love.